Hey everyone, it's Brody at Everything Board Games. NSV sent me Quix, so let's get it to the table. All right, this is Quix, which is a pretty simple dice and uh, roll and write type of game. So everyone's going to take one of these pieces of paper, and you are trying to fill in from left to right at least five of these numbers until someone will lock it. That'll take that color die away, and you're gonna go and try to uh, get the most points. So the first player is gonna take all the dice, and they're gonna roll them. And they will add the two white ones together, and they will announce it for everyone, so three. Every single player then has a chance to cross out a three on any of their colors. So I'm going to take that three. So I'm gonna do red here. I will cross out my red three. Now as the active player, you also can, you don't have to, uh, take one of the white and mix it with any of the other colors. So I did the red three, so I'm gonna make this a red four so that I can cross out this one as well. So now I cannot do the red two ever. I can only go from this way and I can do any of these colors because I haven't filled them out. So now I'm done, the next player will roll. Now since I'm not the active player, I can only fill in what the two white. So for this example, they're going to announce five. Now everyone has the chance to cross out a five. Well, I could cross out a five here on yellow, but then I'm going to miss a couple there. All right. Red is perfect, but then I'm focusing all on red. Green wouldn't be good because it's all the way to the right almost. I'd miss all these high numbers. So I'm just going to do red so that I can cross something out. Then... The active player, so not me right now, is going to take one of their numbers and say they have their yellow and they're going to do a three since it's here on the left. Anyways, you're going to keep on going around and rolling these dice just like this. Um, whenever you can't or don't want to, use what when it's just the whites or when you're adding it together on any of them when it's your turn then you are going to do a misthrow here. You're going to put an X here, which is negative five points at the end of the game. That's you know, not the best thing, but sometimes it might happen if these get locked and you can't do uh, certain things, you might have to just take minus five points. When you're not the active player, you're not obliged to have to take the white dice. So say it was six and I didn't want to do a six, I don't have to. There's no negative effects. You only get this negative effect when you're the active player. Now you're going to go through and whenever someone has five uh, marked off, at any time they can lock it. They probably want to collect as much as they can to get all the way to the far right number before they lock it because then they will get more points. As you see here, uh, right now I have three. That's six points right here for the red. But if I got a lot of these, I might be getting, you know, 55, 66, or even, well, I can't get all 12 because I didn't get the two. But I would be getting big points if I started marking all these off. So say I did that, I'm going to take off red. So this red dice is going to be taken away from the game and you're just going to continue rolling with the colors that you have until all of them are going to be locked up you're going to add your score from four each of the colors from the points track right here you're going to put them all right here any negative from any missed throws and then you're going to get your total whoever has the most points will of course win the game it's a very simple fun fast game and it's just an amazing game for how simple it is. Again, this is Quix by NSV. If you like what you see, then go buy it.